I would be very surprised if anybody watching here um, at some stage in their life hasn't suffered from some form of stress, anxiety um, and possibly even PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, one of the finest things to relieve that, even if only for a temporary time, uh, is some form of activity which engages your brain um, in that specific activity. Now wood turning is, believe it or not, an amazing way of uh, relieving that stress or anxiety. And I know a lot of people um, that use or started using wood turning and have found it a terrific aid in relieving the um, stress from their from their brain for the time they're actually wood turning. And it has a knock-on effect as well because that uh, relief from the stress um, carries on when you stop wood turning for hours, days, weeks, whatever afterwards because your brain has something else to actually focus on. Uh, my good friend Martin Saban Smith um, has undertaken to develop and to um, begin what he calls, or what is now being called, the Black Dog Workshop. Now the Black Dog, as you know, is the, is the stress situation, they call it the Black Dog moment, whatever. And I think it's a great term for the workshop which he is uh, developing. It's not only for people with stress-related problems, but to develop uh, beginners and intermediary um, turners um, to develop their skills. He's going to have a very well kitted out workshop and um, he is documenting its progress. So I'll put a, obviously put a link down below in the description to his Facebook page and indeed his um, YouTube channel. So. I would be very grateful, and I know Martin would be, go across, subscribe to his YouTube channel, follow his development. It's ho he's hoping to have it open um, at, by the end of the year, which is a, a terrific undertaking in itself. But knowing Martin as I do, and, uh, and you do know, especially with his involvement in UKIS and his development of UKIS, he'll get it done by Christmas, no problem at all. So pop across to Martin's uh, YouTube channel and Facebook page and support him in this terrific um, and inspiring um, venture. The next thing, uh, Carter and Sons Tools. About two years ago I did a, a full review on the Carter and Sons Tools uh, and Valerie contacted me a few, uh, about six weeks ago I think, and um, asked me to name a couple of tools. Would I be interested in having a, f a couple more from them to use? And I said yes I would because the bowl gouge that I got two years ago um, and the 10mm spindle gouge um, are my go-to tools. So the, I'm not going to go into each tool. This for example is um, a very hefty thin parting tool. Now the great thing now is that with the handles um, they are now they come with a collet for the specific um, size of the um, the bar of the tool that you, you have. So you slip the collet in and it fits and the handles are all the same, which is brilliant. So that's a really good development in my opinion, it gives a lot more flexibility. Now in the UK the um, sole distributor is um, the tool post and I'll put a link down, down below to the tool post. Um, and of course you don't have to buy the handle if you don't like the idea of the aluminium handles but I do honestly urge you to think about it because they are brilliant in the hand well balanced etc um, you can buy the blades on their own or indeed the handles on their own if you so wish um, and the relative collet will come with the tool that you order they are a premium tool but I would venture to say that they will last outlast your turning needs um, they're superb they hold an edge for a very long time irrespective of whether it's wet wood or dry wood and they are a pleasure to use. So um, that's just a little um, addition if you like regarding Carter and Sons tools. Um, lastly, whoops, and lastly and by no means least, um, before I grew this fungus I was approached by um, Cambridge Mask and they asked me whether I'd be interested in having one of their masks and possibly doing a review on it if I, if I liked it. So I said yeah fine. Um, 
when I'm turning, 90% of the time I always wear my uh, full face mask, the respirator, the powered respirator. But for jobs like, for example, working on the bandsaw, the table saw, drilling, whatever, I normally use a dust mask. But having grown this fungus, um, I would be wrong to say that I get a perfect um, seal, obviously. But prior to me growing this, um, I used this Cambridge dust mask for about a week, maybe a bit longer. And I still do use it because um, on, on various things, because I look at it as this way, sun protection is better than none. But without the fungus, this was an absolutely brilliant piece of kit. Uh, for me, being a glasses wearer, you order the size that you need, because they come in different sizes, and they literally just go over your ears like so. And as I say, with a beard, it's not that easy to get a good seal at the bottom. But for me, the great thing is, I don't steam up, the glasses don't steam up. Because of the way that it's contoured here, it allows your glasses to sit in front of the seal. So when you're breathing in and out, you don't steam your glasses up, which is an, an absolutely brilliant uh, thing for me. And they're not uh, cheap. I think they're about £30 in the UK plus delivery. However, they're washable. Not the filter, obviously. The filter stays intact and enclosed, but you can wash the mask. Um, all the instructions come in this really nice tin with a carry, little carry case inside. Um, and the life in the sort of environment we're in uh, is between 200 and 250 hours. Now if you actually compare that to a valved dust mask, because in my opinion if you haven't got a valved dust mask in, in a workshop environment, you might as well not have one on. So a valve dust mask, and you work out, you'll find that these are very economical because they are, you can wear them for so long. However, um, I reiterate, if you have a beard, obviously you can't get a decent seal. But um, if you don't have a beard, they seal really well and they're very comfortable to wear, which is very important too. So I'll put a link down, downstairs, down below, to Cambridge Mask as well. Um, pop along, have a look and see what you think. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you've found some interest. Uh, and don't forget to pop along to Martin Saban Smith's Black Dog Workshop and lend him your support. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.